so once again welcome everybody to this series between UCF and Barrow College now for UCF we have spawning at the bottom of daybreak I want to say yeah I think this is daybreak we have assassin he plays for UCF and he is our blue Protoss. I mean our, our blue Zerg and at the top position we have Ugwe playing for Baruch and he is the red Terran now as you guys can see already this is only a two player map and it's kind of popular I really like this ma this game or this map I should say because it's mostly macro oriented and it has a kind of easy to take third simply because it's out of the main path and it's really close to your well it's pretty accessible I, wa I don't want to say close I mean it's kind of far, far away anyways yeah your third is pretty accessible and also look at this there's only one gas here it's a ri rich Vespin geyser and I think that means that it yields seven gas instead of five I'm not sure and uh, there are only s six mineral patches for this expansion so it it's always easier, better, not easier, it's always better to take the, the one opposite from your loca starting location but if you just want to get some extra minerals I guess you could take this one or the extra gas now anyways we have Uruguay scouting Assassin's Base and he hasn't seen the spawning pool Our SCVs are under attack. and as we can see Assassin is molesting that SV with his drone now Assassin I've seen him play before and he's pretty strong now Uwe I'm pretty sure he's strong I mean he, both of these players are, are master players so I'm expecting a really in intense game I want to say it seems to be aimed to be a, 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 an amazing game and an amazing series I mean both colleges are are pretty good now UCF hasn't performed as great as they performed last season and Baruch College has uh, is actually top in number two of their division I believe I'm, I'm not completely sure I know for a fact that they are ranked really high in their own division and I believe they're second because if I'm correct if I'm correct that would also mean the New York University or Polytechnic, I don't remember which one of the two um, they are ranked number one and haven't have only lost one game in a series to one more college they've always won through zero anyways this game is about this game is about UCF and Baruch College so right now we can see um, Uguay going for quick Hellions with the quick reactor and he's rallying them up to the Salonaga tower and assassin is sending to that exact same Selenaga tower some Zerglings, just a pair of Zerglings and the Hellions have spawned, are they going to meet up with the Zerglings? Are the Zerglings going to survive or at least bring some scouting information? Because when you see two Hellions this early in the, in the game you kind of realize that your opponent has gone for really quick Hellions. Now both Zerglings have died and he saw two Hellions spawning at the same time so Assassin should have a good idea of what's coming his way now he's already positioning the the Queens to defend and he barely has any drones at his natural expansion now Ugwe is just waiting for something I believe I wonder what Ugwe is waiting for And that was pretty bad control from Ugwe. I mean, he he just he just lost uh, a Hellion out of nowhere for carelessly controlling controlling it. And Ugwe has finally decided to expand. He is going for a Banshee now. Interesting choice. While Assassin doesn't have a layer yet. Yes, he doesn't have a layer yet. Um, I wonder when he's going to get it. I mean, at uh, this time I want to say that you really really want to have a layer already on the way 
I mean, look, just look at his macro. It's it's really bad at this moment. You never want to have the mini mirrors. At, le at least take at least take another expansion. And he's getting an evolution chamber. No, this is Assassin's whole army right there. While Uwe actually has three aliens, which counter perfectly the and a banshee, which counter perfectly those Erglings. Now let's follow this banshee and see what it actually does. Now, Ukwe is also getting steam, and then second Banshee, he has already completed his natural expansion. He's getting that orbital command for those mules, those, that extra income that is so important for Terrans as they have the slowest worker count always. And yeah, he's getting steam while Assassin is getting a bit next and a layer. Now, the Banshee ha has killed already two workers and the queen comes in to attack it the banshee gets four drones already really nice control so far coming off the banshee the, we see some sport, sport crawlers being laid down five kills for the banshee coming from drones alone and we still see it go away it's just going away nice control that that really worked in Uruguay's in Uwe's favor and Assassin is getting six more drones right now droning up that's how you play drone app he barely has any units uh, uh, at the same time and we see the hell is hanging out at the cell like watchtower they're gonna be met up by the servants they just died now this bench is being repaired by that SCV which surprisingly survived to the circling attack. These circlings are going to go into the natural, but they're gonna be repelled. Yes, that's right, Assassin with the nice reaction, pulling back the circlings as soon as he saw the marine count. Now I want to point out that Uwe is getting his third already. And we see the bench is going back into a main of Assassin. They start killing off the drones, I was going to say queen but not drones once again targeting down the, the queen oh this queen is getting low one hit point left, the transfuse saves it and the other queen is also really really low oh there we go and this bench is about to die he gets away, oh this is so intense more drones being killed off and this bench he has to finally back up, oh it only eight points left and it survives that is pro crawler I almost killed it with that queen queens do 10 hit points of damage to air air units and that's that's a lot actually both benches really low are they going to be repaired they should be repaired you never want to lose a bench and we see a sergeant simply blocking Uwe's third, it's some units are going to have to be rallied down in order to kill it. And Uwe hasn't realized that he, that his third is not up. There we go. He pre preemptively steams those marines, and we see some mutas finally done. Only four, five, five. Make that five. Now the circling has been killed, but this command center is still floating. There we go. He's going to lay it down now we see the mutalisk finally coming in and is this tower going to be done? no! he takes out the SCV that was building it he takes two SCVs down, three four five five SCVs, yeah five SCVs have died six six SCVs died, seven SCVs and these marines are going to repel the, the mutalisk are just going to hang by this overseer. Now, as we can see, Assassin already has his third app. And once again, the Mutalist Squad trying to do some damage. They're going back into a main. S starting to kill more. They just get one more SV. Oh, I just realized that Uguay canceled the, the missile tower. Interesting choice. Now, does this Mutalist shoot him? 
be able to harass anymore. They're gonna be met up by these marines and they just get out. Now once again Uwe is building some missile towers. Oh my god, it takes such a long time saying words. And these destructible rocks are almost gone for for Assassin. And Assassin is also taking a fourth expansion already. Nice macro. While Uwe has terrible saturation at, at his third. I mean it's it's just basically there and doing nothing. Now this mutalisk one mutalisk has died. And we see Assassin trying to make something happen with this Mutalisk. He has begun attacking the armory. He knows that Thors are possible now. And oh, the, Mu the Mutalisk have to get out. No, these Zerglings. Oh, the Planter Fortress killing seven Zerglings at the same time. Well, some Marines. Yeah, there we see some Marines with some heals. Um, finally, Uwe is taking his gas at his third. But once again, the, sa the saturation is just terrible. Actually, the, the worker count for Uwe is just really, really low. Now, we see much... Oh my god, this is a ton of Mutalisks. Assassin has a lot of Mutalisks. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to describe this. 70 Mutalisks. I mean, 15 Mutalisks. That's... That's a lot. <laughs> Now, the Marines just moving out as the middle is coming, but they come back. And this missile tower should go down. The missile tower goes down. And Assassin has been able to take both missile towers. Now, we see a main force moving out for Uruguay. Now, these Mutalisks are moving out. Oh, they're gonna find this siege tank unprotected. While Uruguay moves out at the exact same moment. Some bailings going to be done. Oh, Uguay needs to see this. Oh, he doesn't mi micro. And the Bainlings begin to connect. He loses his whole army in that engagement. And that was just terrible for Uguay. Now, the Mutalisk at the same time did a lot of damage. But they get back to help control this main marine force. Which is going to be cleaned up without the Mutalisk help. Thanks to Bainlings. Now the Mutalisk come back to intercept these units and they're pretty much dead. Now, nice split by Uwe trying to save some. But oh, he forgets to get his medivac back to his main. And the medivac is gone. Now at the same time we see Assassin moving out with a lot of Zerglings. Oh, go back, go back, this Plunder Fortress is too much for you. And the Planetary Fortress begins to kill once again other units. Oh, this is just terrible. Now the Planetary Fortress has 41 kills at the moment, that's a lot. More Zerglings just die carelessly, and the Mutalisk begin to move out once again. Now, Uguay, Uguay is basically 50 foot supply behind. And the middle is oh they haven't started attacking and the one missile tower goes down. The second missile tower goes down and this SCV is unprotected. They should go Yeah, they should get away. And Assassin has been perfect with his harassment actually. He begins taking out some Marines. Uruguay just trying to defend his base, but he can't. Now the Thor is going to drive those Mutalisks out. And at the same time, we have a huge force of circling some Danelings for um, for Assassin. No, Assassin has begun to take the the mini expansion. I want to say so. That's going to give me extra gas. It's not like he needs it anyway. I mean, just look at his macro. He has a lot of resources, and his whole force is hanging over here at the bottom position. Now what does Uwe have to repel it? Just some marines? And are they going to be no oh he begins to move out with some marines which are going to be intercepted by this humongous force. He doesn't even steam them. And GG should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, we see the Mutalisk once again attacking. 
Oh, but carelessly attacking into steam marines. No, the whole force is moving back. And assassin is just deciding what attack angle he wants to take. We see a nice split going down by Uruguay. And he has decided to attack the third. Is, it, is the third going to go down? It seems the third will go down. Some main links begin to explode. Now the... Oh, the marines are cleaned up. And this door should be cleaned up also. But there are more units reinforcing for Uruguay from behind. And they repel easily. The circlings. No, the circlings just run away. And now is Uruguay going to go for the drops? Maybe this is the way that he can come back. I don't know. More bane links in production for Assassin. Excellent attacks went down for Assassin. He, he already has two attack and one one uh, armor for his upgrades. And in air upgrades, he has one attack. Well, oh, Uruguay is just moving out, down, out with that drop. I don't know what he just intercepted. He's trying to destroy destroy these destructible rocks. Oh, is Assassin going to see this? drop yes he does and he begins moving down but his forces are so far away he begins steaming his marines and what is he going to take down oh he should get back now oh assassin is losing a lot of stuff in his main too oh just just terrible micro for Uruguay these pain links have connected even though they didn't clean up anything oh some ultralist scout ready for assassin and who is trying to take out the infestation pit even though it doesn't matter at all no the mute the ultralists have begun to kill the the marines and this medivac should be dead no two medivacs survive and never mind two medivacs die now we see assassin maxed out and moving out with his mutalisk ultralisk circling composition while Uruguay doesn't have anything left. He only has some siege tanks, some marines and two Thors left. Oh, once again, Assassin is producing. Look at that number of bane links. 20 bane links, I mean 18 bane links produced. And a lot of SCVs going down. He cannot afford to lose these SCVs. Oh, he's cancer, and at the same time, Assassin is going to try to get this third once again. Is he going to take it out? To me, it seems that he will. There is no way we can defend it. I mean, not, not the planetary fortress is not even done yet. All the SCVs go down. The Sergnings survive while attacking it, and this third is lost. At the same time, the main attack actually happened, and. Uruguay didn't stand a chance, all the Ultralists took out the main force, and Uruguay GG. <laughs>